What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step by step tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to create all the event lists, also known as calendars, that you could ever need. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. All right, let's get that timer rolling. First thing we do is we go to the home page and we're going to click on new. We're going to say new app. From here, we're going to go into classic. That's right, classic experience. Don't ask me why. And then you're going to take a look at your calendar right here. Click on calendar. And then you're going to name it. You're going to say this is an awesome calendar. No spaces, y'all. Come on. We don't want a messy URL. Click create. And then ba bam there it is you have an awesome calendar was that in 60 seconds i don't know let me know in the comments if we got it in time all right now we're gonna just slow it down slow it down and we're gonna take it step by step and talk about everything that we had to do why we had to do it uh and what it can mean for you when you're using the events web part in modern sharepoint before we do that quick shout out to everyone watching who's watched in the past and liked and subscribed and all that good stuff if you haven't already now's your chance like subscribe share comment uh bell notification so you can know as soon as new stuff is available okay so let's take a look at our site contents here in this calendar demo site and we'll see that we have an events web part now when you get a brand new communication site you are going to automatically have an event list events list also known as a calendar if it's a non-communication site then i do not believe you get a calendar automatically or an events list automatically if you're old school you know these as calendar new school it it's changed to events um events calendar it's all kind of okay anyway uh this is all well and good if you only need one place to keep track of events in this site maybe you have a need to separate your events into different calendars so that we have an events calendar for this uh, demo site and then another calendar awesome calendar that's just an example you're going to have your own use case however it's not uh, necessarily intuitive on creating a new calendar so the only trick is you've got to look for the classic experience so if we go into new and we say we want a new app it's gonna pop us into my apps and there are some you know apps down here but again if you're used to classic SharePoint you, you may be wondering okay where did my apps go you know the built-in apps basically so the built-in apps are gonna be in the classic experience do not ask me why so we go to classic experience and then you're gonna see all the stuff that you're used to um, or if you're new to SharePoint, then you'll see. Uh, so some built-in things that are just built into SharePoint. Uh, you know about the document library and custom list already, but there's another one, it's called the calendar. So if we click on calendar, that is going to allow us to create um, a new calendar. Also known as an events list. And we don't use spaces here. Company holidays. All right, there we go. So there you are. You can create as many lists as your heart desires. Uh, you probably won't meet the limit, which uh, combined document libraries and lists is 2,000 per site collection. So good luck hitting that limit. Hopefully this helps you if you have a need for creating multiple uh, calendars. If you need more information on how to pull all of this information into an event web part, then go ahead and click over here and you'll be able to take a peek at how you can uh, combine or pull in events lists from multiple sites pretty easily. With that, I hope this has been helpful. Please keep doing the best you can with what you got. And remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time.